the most popular fragrance from the brand of Chanel, Blue de Chanel. Now this is a fragrance that most people know about, but I have not given it a full review on the channel, so if you're curious about how this fragrance is in 2023, stick around to find out. Today I'll be talking about the Eau de Toilette, and then I will be talking about the other concentrations at a later date. Blue de Chanel is a fragrance that was created in 2010 and is arguably the most influential designer fragrance out right now. This fragrance gave popularity to what we now know as blue fragrances and many brands out there have their most popular fragrances or at least one of their most popular fragrances falling into that category. For example, you have Dior's Dior Sauvage, which is an extremely popular blue fragrance most people know about. You have Versace's Dylan Blue, which is also a very popular fragrance, and Prada Luna Rosa Carbon, just to name a few. Blue de Chanel adopted the combination of citrus, spicy ambers, and woods as its scent profile, with the notes being grapefruit, lemon, mint, ginger, pink pepper, nutmeg, jasmine, isoe super, incense, vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, labdanum, and white musk. In the top of this fragrance, that's where you're going to get most of the grapefruit and lemon that is in here with a little bit of the ginger and Isoe Super. Now, I believe Isoe Super is a synthetic chemical that smells like masculine woods and it smells a little bit like musk. This fragrance chemical can either lean synthetic or natural, and I believe in here it leans a little bit more synthetic. As it dries down, you get the smooth sandalwood with cedar and patchouli. You do get a hint of incense, but I think the prominent note in here is the sandalwood. Overall, the fragrance is slightly sweet citrus with masculine woods and spice. This is a very mass appealing fragrance with very good versatility, and it's just an easy fragrance to reach for. Moving on to the performance, and this fragrance seems to be a bit different for a lot of people. Some people say that this fragrance has absolutely no performance, and some people say the exact opposite. But for me, I get six to eight hours of longevity with a moderately weak projection. Now, it's not as weak as some fragrances, but it's definitely not as strong as a lot of other blue fragrances out there. As stated before, this fragrance is extremely versatile, being one of those fragrances that you can wear anytime, any day, all year long. It's just one of those that you can wear for any occasion and it will work. A lot of people seem to say that this is an excellent compliment pulling fragrance, but so far that has not been my experience. You can see why though, it's because I have not worn this fragrance that much. You do get this simplistic bottle design with a magnetic cap that most people seem to love, and you get Chanel's amazing atomizer. Just look at that. Now moving on to the final thing, pricing. Pricing for Chanel fragrances can be a bit iffy sometimes, and this fragrance is no different. When I just bought my Blue de Chanel bottle, not even a month ago, it was $96, US but as of right now for a 50ml bottle, it is $105, and for a 100ml bottle, you will be looking at spending $125. US now for that price range, you'll probably find a lot of fragrances that have this kind of versatility, but for a retail price, you won't find many fragrances at that price range at the quality that Chanel offers. Also, don't really worry about looking on discounters for this fragrance because you're not likely to find them. And if you do find this fragrance on discounters, it's only going to be about maybe 5 to $10 off. If you ever find a Chanel fragrance on a website for more than $20 off, it's very likely to be fake, so please beware when buying. So, my overall rating of Blue de Chanel Eau de Toilette is a 7.8 out of 10. This stuff smells nice, it's got great versatility, and it's got great quality, but the fragrance is so popular, it's got so many clones and inspired buys that it's just not as unique as it used to be. Um, the performance is not as great as other blue fragrances, and of course, guys, I just like the parfum better. Blue de Chanel is a great fragrance to pick when you don't know what you want to wear, but other than that, this fragrance is just not my favorite. Anyways, that is my review of Blue de Chanel Eau de Toilette. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video. I'm actually so close to hitting 400 subscribers already, so go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you are interested in blue fragrances or you just like the smell of blue fragrances, click on the video right here, and that'll take you to the video of Prada Luna Rosa Carbon versus Versace Dylan Blue. But that is all I have for you guys today. I will see you in the next one.